My girl soft and shake like a strawberry with a tat like Steph on My girl soft and shake like a strawberry with a tat like. On this week's episode of 2K TV, we're hanging with Dan Rue, breaking down the My Team Unlimited tournament, and you vote. The Pistons earlier, arriving at the arena, hard to imagine. Well, and DA, that's the standard for the Lakers organization. Thanks for that report. And let's check out a breakdown, looking at some stats for him. In the last five games, you can see the trend upwards for effective field goal percentage. And it shows you how confident he's playing right now. And a look at the starters for the Pistons. On the wings, Kennard and Snell. Andre Drummond is out there with Morris. And it's Brown in at the one. And for the Lakers, LeBron and Davis, the incredible forward pair. Green out there with Avery Bradley. And it's McGee in at the center. You know, a big change last season for Luke Kennard happened when he stopped worrying about taking bad shots. He was asked to be more proactive on offense and start creating chances for himself instead of waiting for the ball to be swung to him. Here's Bradley. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And Smitty, that aggressiveness from Kennard. That's what the team wants from him. He's a big part of their future. They need that from him. He may not be their number one or number two scorer, but he can be a very solid option off the bench or as a starter. Now, here's Brown. Snell, the pass to Brown. That's tipped. It's stolen by Green. Jumps up. And he caps off the fast break with a monster slam. A 3 and D player. That break started by Danny Green's awareness on the deepest of end, creating the turnover. And here is Brown. It's Drummond, top of the key. Back to Brown from downtown. Not going to go that time. And the Lakers take it the other way. That's the third straight miss to start this game, and they're still looking for their first pass. Good open look. Avery looking poised with the ball in his hands, making decisions. Detroit's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Passes it to Snell. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That one on Davis. The Pistons shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. And I think this is a strength of this team. Solid numbers at the line across the board. 77% collectively. Steve, we still have players settling into the new season. When you were playing, 
Did you typically start fast, or did it take a while for you to kind of find your rhythm? Kevin, I think you're like this. I played 14 years. Those first eight, I got off to great starts. Those last six, oh, Lord. <laughs> it looks like it was like my feet was in the sand. But usually you get going. The best time to really get going is at the end. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the lid comes off the basket after four straight misses. They finally get one. And they call an illegal screen here. And while we've got a chance, check out the stats for Drummond. First in rebounding, sixth in blocks, and he's a defensive ball hawk. You can't let your guard down. Remember, he's 10th in the league in steals per game. And just going back real quick to the fact that he's tops in the league in rebounds, what a tremendous feat. What a monster he is in the paint. Now, here's Brown. Morris looking over the floor. Shoots from 12. And it's Drummond missing. Passed outing for the Pistons. It was a loss to the Timberwolves. LeBron passes to Green. Now McGee covered by Morris. Bradley can't get it to go. Pistons trail by four. To the paint. And Davis sends it back. What a play by Anthony Davis. You think you can get it over me? Nope, not on my watch. He never takes a break on any possession. He is ruthless on the offensive side of the floor. Here's Brown. Kicks to Snell. Shoots the three. Trains it from beyond the arc. Snell's got five points so far. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. James outside. Rebound Andre Drummond. Detroit's gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Here's Brown. The Lakers with the rebound. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. The rim protection at its finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. And so Brown will bring it up for Detroit. It's a five-point game coming off that loss against the Timberwolves. Really a, a disappointing effort. That, that game could have and should have been closer than it was. You know, sometimes you don't play up to your full potential. The important thing to figure out is what went wrong. James. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And the bright lights of L.A., perhaps too much for some players. But you know what, Greg? <laughs> Not for LeBron James. This guy thrives in the spotlight. The Lakers crafting a roster to satisfy his championship ambitions. Off the court, the City of Angels perfect for maximizing his business aspirations. Defensively, you have to tight up on him or suffer the consequences. away offensive rebound and they double up James the pass to Davis tries yet again five to shoot back to James pulls it up kicks it out to Bradley from deep unable to get that one now the Pistons take it the other way. And they've come out with a take-no-prisoners approach on the glass here tonight, guys. The shot's good from McGee. Great timing. That can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Now here's Brown. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. The shot's good from Kennard. How can you leave this guy that wide open? Please. That's terrible. To get open is Davis, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Andre Drummond picks one up, and the GOAT conversation. LeBron has said his motivation is to surpass Michael Jordan as the greatest of all time. Greg, what do you think he needs to do to bolster his case? Uh, I think for the name.